Hoes and welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie. Oh my god, guys. I swear, you think the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard story is going to calm down and it keeps getting more chaotic. I'm at the point, and I've said this in a few videos, and funny enough, I've actually started to hear other YouTubers say this. I feel bad for her because it's just non-stop. This situation just never seems to end. And it seems like this situation just gets more and more and more chaotic for her. So what is happening? If you saw the title of my thumbnail, guys, okay, so let me, let me backtrack a little bit. So we all know the major points with Amber Heard, but something recently came out. I've done some videos on this. I will have links in the cards, so go check them out. They have pretty little thumbnails. One of them, I was like, I'm so excited about this thumbnail. I've been having so much fun with you guys and like just playing around with everything on this channel. I have a lot of fun. Also, I'm looking at my monitor. I feel like I've been looking really dark lately, so I took my lighting and I put it right on me and I can't really see. <laughs> you guys can see this, but let me know if the lighting is okay. I'm like, I didn't get that tan, did I? I'm very technically not proficient. I do my best. I'm alone here. However, what am I talking about? So I will have links in the cards to these videos. I have done some videos on this recently. So some information is coming out that I feel like at this point, nobody's surprised by. It's like you're shocked and not surprised and not shocked at all because of what we know. And it's so funny because it's like my intuition continues to be on point with the situation. You guys know most of these videos, I start out saying something about Jeff, an airplane, Ghislaine Maxwell. We don't hear anything about it, but we hear about this and we're force fed it. So let's just laugh. Well, it looks like there are legitimate ties, possibly, allegedly, to all of these things with Jeff, Ghislaine, and Airplane, and Amber. So go check those videos out, but I'll give you a little brief overview, but you'll have a lot more details. So there was a journalist recently with about a million followers on Instagram who came out and they did a story that's blown up where basically there are witnesses and people coming forward that say, and I'm gonna have to speak to make sure this is safe for YouTube, so please understand. Also know, I hate talking to you guys like children. I hate this. I love cursing and my favorite curse word is the C word. Please understand. I hate this just as much as y'all do. But apparently Amber and, and uh, company had these big cattle parties for the elite and wealthy and sometimes pharmaceuticals that aren't supposed to be there were involved and sometimes minors were involved that shouldn't be there. Please infer. And there's a lot of info coming out. There's info that one of Amber's ex-girlfriends with Elon Musk that Amber physically attacked this girl. It's getting nuts. So this story came out. I covered it. Other YouTubers covered it. Well, now apparently Amber and Elon are suing and they are suing this girl for defamation. What is happening? What on earth is happening? On top of that, we know that uh, she, Amber, is not even in the country. She's fled the country right now, which I've been detailing. A part of me really wonders. I, I'm going to be slightly surprised if we see her come back because I think she's probably going to stay over in like Europe and somewhere over in, she right now, so she has been in Israel. There were reports that she's in London. And I think that she might feel safer overseas considering all of the things that are coming at her with the IRS, with Australia, with, and now this. But guys, this journalist is speaking out about exactly what is happening. And this is real and legitimate. They are saying that they are going to come after her and they are going to sue her. And now she's having her social medias messed with. All different types of weird stuff are happening. So here's what I would say about something like this. This is where it's, it gets kind of interesting for things like this. Also, if you like content like this, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I keep forgetting to tell y'all. Um, and not that you guys need reminders, but like I'll forget to subscribe to people if they don't tell me. And I'm old. So I'm not saying y'all are old, but we just have a lot going on. So here's your little reminder. If you like content like this, subscribe, hit notifications, like, leave a comment, everything helps. But um, this is just getting crazy. It's getting crazier and crazier what's happening in this situation. And here's, here's what I would say. I would say, considering everything she's just gone through legally, why would you want to go through a whole nother court situation? Unless now this is just your tactic to shut people up, which of course, that's always what it is. It's defamation of people to shut up, right? But I'm kind of of the mindset, why would you want to draw more attention to something like this? And where there's smoke, there's fire. The other one is, I mean, none of this is a surprise, guys. No, I don't think there's anybody that's like, really? That, that, that this is what goes on in Hollywood and within big tech and big industry. We're all aware of this at this point. It's become, and I hate to say this, I feel like it's kind of like when we hear that um, physically not nice things have happened at schools with children, please infer. 
you know, big things like that where we become desensitized. And it's like, well, we're all just struggling to survive because the psychopaths have put us in these situations and we're still as a society trying to figure out how to take back our power from that. So nobody's really shocked, right? But why on earth if you are Elon, and by the way, apparently it's Elon, Elon and Amber. Why would you be coming after somebody like that and causing more attention to it? And of course, guess who's silent about this? the mainstream media. So we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you everything going. Now I will say I'm happy because this has hit the mainstream news a little bit, but of course the big players aren't picking it up. Probably won't pick it up because they need to make sure Amber looks like the ultimate angelic victim. If you haven't seen it, I have some Amber's on the run videos and they're really fun because there are they're some articles that were written that basically they try to paint Amber as she's running around Tel Aviv and she looks like this goddess and everybody is ending their lives because she's just so gorgeous they can't handle it. It's so funny how over the top the mainstream media is being about really trying to portray her a certain way. You know, it almost makes me think, I'm like, I'm gonna throw a fun little blank theory out there. I'm not even saying I believe it, just a blank theory. Things keep getting so and so insane within politics and Hollywood and the world that I'm at the point where I'm like, are things really this insane and we really have this many psychopaths and they really think we're this stupid? Or is it that now we have good aliens in control of everything and they're like, well, let's kind of show the plans of what the negative people and the psychopaths were going to do, but we're gonna make it so crazy and dramatic, it's gonna make people stand up and take their power back. I'm not saying that's the case. But these are things I think about because humans bore me and I want alien friends. I love you guys though. You guys are not, I was I gonna say, you guys are not humans. Cause is that a diss? I'm not, to me it's a high compliment. <laughs> well, I just complimented my audience by telling them they're not human beings. Oh, what is wrong with me or what is right with me? That's one of my favorite things to do. When I see something I like on somebody, I go up to them, I'm like, girl, what is right with you? Look at that outfit. Look at everything. I like your art. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at this. This is from Marka.com. Amber Heard and Elon Musk, Elon, threatened to sue author who detailed the cuddle snuggle parties. Cuddle snugs. Author Jessica Reed Krause is speaking up against them saying, I don't even know if I can say this word, T-H and then a rets. <laughs> a th and then a rets. I feel like I've said that before on YouTube and they've gotten mad at me. So that's why I have to always speak round about it. It's so annoying. Okay, it says, Amid the incredible backlash she's been getting for publishing that explosive Substack account of Amber Heard and Elon Musk's cuddle parties, author Jessica Reed Krause is speaking up. She has been posting stories where them coming after her can be read from anonymous or spam accounts. Those who talk about her lack of credibility, she is actually close with Johnny Depp's legal team. Oh, that part I didn't know. So there she is here. It says, what a week. And she's with uh, Chew. She's with Chew. I like Chew. A little snarky fun, taking some candy, doing some little wiggles. Did you guys see that? There was a TikTok, a couple TikTok videos that went viral of him like just waiting for court and he'd go. <laughs> and I was like, there's a boomer wiggle. And I love you boomers, but y'all do that. Sometimes you'll kind of, you'll be feeling yourselves, but you don't fully like want to show it. So you'll kind of do this little secret wiggles to yourself, but everybody can see them. I say that with love. I love you boomers. I love everybody. I know I pick on the boomers a lot. It's because my parents are boomers. So, and they pick on, well, they did pick on me. I don't talk to them at this point. I have no parents. <laughs> no, I do have parents. I just don't talk to them. I'm telling you too much about myself. What is right with me? Anyway, in a picture posted on May 28th, she appears with Chu, Depp's lead defense attorney. All of a sudden I saw the word lead and I'm like, I can't read. <laughs> he is a partner at the firm that is representing the actor. She clearly has inside information about the entire case. The sub stack. She only titled it as Depp versus Heard Part 3, The Cuddle Parties, was an explosive revelation of Amber Heard's controversial life before, during, and after her revelation with Johnny Depp. And it says, we've always said eyes wide shut isn't fiction. Evil themed parties. Elon Musk and his tech buddies are into some weird stuff with Amber Heard. Let's correct that a little bit. Most of these elitists, most of these wealthy people are into weird stuff. And you know, a part of why, aside from the fact to get to that point of wealth um, in the way that they do it, you have to probably have a lot of areas in your life where you're not super nice to get there, please infer. I think the other thing is when you have that much money and that much power, I think if you're not connected to something positively on a spiritual level, whatever that is for you, when you don't get your divine source of happiness from that, 
you're going to end up getting bored. And in getting bored, you're going to have to do more and more extreme things, especially like with men and intimacy, please infer, to even get any feelings off of it, whether or not that's good, bad, or otherwise. Just my little take on it. But then I am somebody who almost doesn't feel intimacy in general. Rare takes the right person. They're never around. That's okay, because you know what? I'm the right person for me, and you're the right person for you. So if you're in the same situation, we are the right people for each other and for one another's self, ourselves. I feel very socially awkward today. I don't know what's going on with me. Oh, actually, I do. I'm tired, but that's okay. We're all tired. Let's have some fun. <laughs> it says, Heard reaches out to Musk to sue Krauss. According to Krauss's Instagram story, she has been told that Amber Heard is absolutely terrified of this new information. So much so that she allegedly reached out to Elon Musk in order to analyze the course of action, good Lord, through her at House Inhabit Instagram account. Krauss revealed that the word on the street is that both Heard and Musk are lawyering up for potential lawsuits against her. She also filed posted messages from the Substack team that reassured they will fight against Heard and Musk on her behalf. This platform is known for fighting against censorship and for protecting authors' free authors freedom of speech. But Amber Heard could end up fighting Kraus on her own for a very specific reason. And it says, Amber Heard was always filming Elon Musk. She had a method. She would get Elon really blanked up so incriminating events could transpire and then film it all. Interesting, isn't that what she did with Johnny? Almost seemed like instead of her trying to save him from addiction, she fueled it and then put him in compromised positions to uh, later do things with. <laughs> this is so mean. She's so, that's why when I start feeling kind of compassionate for everything she's going through, I'm like, uh-uh, let's, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. And this is exposes that really dark underbelly of Hollywood that we continue to hear about and needs more exposure. And it says, such a coincidence that Amber Heard was filming Johnny Depp too. Yes, remember the pics with the ice cream. There you go. And it says, the rumor's always been she has some dark crap on him. Okay, yeah. So now it says, in the Substack publication about the parties, Elon Musk is not doing any incriminating stuff. In fact, he is actually another of Amber Heard's victims. In the past, Musk has even agreed on Twitter comments where Amber Heard is compared to fictional character Harley Quinn. <laughs> he at least agrees that the actress isn't exactly mentally stable. The only reason Elon Musk would agree to sue the author and take Heard's side is if he is being, um, if she has stuff over him, if Amber has stuff over him, not sure what words I can say. If this is the case, the actress must have some deeply incriminating stuff on Musk that he can't possibly allow to become public knowledge. Krause's Instagram account keeps posting stories with more details in the case. You should check it out. And here it is. You can see Elon says, off to the race is set to Harley Quinn. Somebody writes, Harley Quinn seems to be somewhere between Amber and Grimes and he puts a bullseye. Basically calling her psycho. I love it. So now we're going to go into the update directly from Jessica. This is from her Substack house inhabitant or inhabit. And it says post follow up legal people coming after me and internet hackings. What to expect when you're exposing. Yeah. And that's exactly, I've been in situations where I've exposed things early on in my career and I made some helped make big changes on YouTube, which I'm really happy about when it comes to children and getting hurt. And you, when you do that, what I didn't know, so naive of me, you are gonna have every target put on you from everywhere. And even the YouTubers who you think who are good and want that type of righteous justice will come after you just because they're jealous or they're ignorant. It gets very crazy. And it says, but to live outside the law, you must be honest. And you know what, that's another thing. I had a conversation recently with, uh, I have this person who's like a mental health person and my spiritual advisor or guide kind of. And we were talking about this and we talked about the weight of truth, the weight of truth and ultimate responsibility and what that means for people. And most people, well, some people are truth seekers, but most people never get to the point where they seek the truth to where they actually want the weight of what that means. Because to do that, to have to actually see the truth and have the weight of it means you have to make changes in your life that may not be comfortable. They'll be for your best and highest good because that's what the truth always does in the end, regardless of how much destruction there is along the way. The destruction happens when we resist, in my opinion. So it says a line from the song, absolutely sweet Marie. 
pulled from Dylan's landmark album Blonde on Blonde, printed on a bumper sticker in boldface Western font that I proudly slapped onto the back of my 1964 Ford Falcon my senior year. During my peak obsession with Bob Dylan, when his soundtrack dominated all of my waking hours, Lyrics ingrained in my brain thanks to endless hours on repeat, igniting an early devotion to social fairness and the assumption that the desire for truth transcends society's set of boundaries, rules, and exceptions. Oh, girl, we were so naive, weren't we? <laughs> Especially for those who have the means to live above or outside of it. Dylan was big on social equity, even bigger on truth. His songs programmed me to view the world from a poet's perspective to embrace the tragic and the absurd and ignore what is popular when popular isn't authentic. Good words, girl, good words. If I were going to put a bumper sticker on the back of my car today, it would read, everything I learned in life I learned from Bob Dylan's song. Hey, Bob's not my, that's not my thing, but more power to you, girl, that's what gets you. I offer this as a simple point of clarity to add to the ongoing debate surrounding me and my work. I know there is a hesitancy to take me seriously. People who still don't know what to make of this space which is Substack, which I don't resent. And funny enough, she's done a lot for Substack because I didn't know what Substack was. I was like, what is this? I was like, is this just some type of blogging platform? I still really don't know, but she's at least got the name out there, good on you, and at least they're standing by her. The repeated accusation that I'm not a journalist is meant to undermine my credibility, but doesn't offend me the way it's intended. I don't view myself as one either. I know my faults and I know my strong points. I'm not polished or predictable. Get a girl. I always accidentally take a novel's tone in reporting, often ignoring expected journalistic rules and protocol. Plus, I'm awful at grammar, arrangements, and spell check. Yes, I love that. I love it. Impulsive, reactive, easily distracted, and typically opinionated. The good news? In it, by the way, I'm liking her more and more as I read this. I'm, stand, I'm, I'm standing Jessica more and more. In addition to all of those things, I am genuine, driven by an innate sense of curiosity, I suppose speaks to people in an age where media feels increasingly disconnected, divisive, or really safe, and politically rooted where it doesn't need to be. I'm attracted to oddities, complexities, and nuanced, threaded, inside, layered life experiences. I don't like a clear-cut good versus evil narrative, and I respect gossip at the word of people shaping the stories that unfold here. Love it or leave it, Truth is always the main engine, say it girl. All this is to say the past few days have been an absolute whirlwind. Can we all just pause for a moment to envision the absurdity of this whole scenario? And it is absurd. Elon's lawyers get it. <laughs> I saw this earlier, this is so funny guys. This right here is worth this whole, what, 20, 30 minute video I'm doing. It says, Elon's lawyers gather around a mahogany table in a space themed office in Silicon Valley, discussing how to best address accusations made in this little corner of Substack that spread to the outer edges of the internet, infecting TikTok and Twitter with equal intensity. Or Amber Heard with Elaine on speed dial informing her of another lawsuit she's chasing but cannot win, suing for defamation of all things. After the cuddle party piece was published, I was alerted by three different sources claiming to be close to Musk about rumors of possible legal action pending. I've gone from laughing on phone calls with friends to nearly vomiting from nausea in bathrooms at Target. It'll do that. I have been comforted by respected journalists reaching out, offering praise and support, and members of Substack calling to solidify their intent to fight on my behalf should the issue prompt a lawsuit. As of now, I'm not sure how serious any of these rumored things are, but I did vow that if I ended up on trial against the richest man and the craziest woman in the world, I was going to be one loud, outrageous, hilarious event. Ah. Oh! season two of Amber Heard. Wouldn't that be amazing if this was Steve? Not, not for her. Actually, the journalist, this would propel her career and would give her a lot of great notoriety, most likely. But what an entertaining crap show. <laughs> and it says, a courthouse circus erected in support of freedom of speech. Supporters outfitted in black berets and owl costumes, gypsies with crystal balls, and lie detector booth staged next to a homeless guy who plays the violin at all of our holiday parties, debuting an instrumental version of Rocket Man and Carly Simon's vein. Loud music, circus chaos, chanting, and 5G Wi-Fi hookups to secure ideal live streaming opportunities. Who is this girl? Now, I am always, I feel like I've always been strictly straight, but I'm like, girl, call me. <laughs> I don't want any intimacy. I just want to hang out with you and your mouth. I think our mouths would get along. Also, I think this is interesting because I like this that she said this because I've been here before with this. I'm sure you guys have too. 
You know, when you're going through something in your life and you know intellectually, right? Mentally and intellectually, how ridiculous the situation is. So she knows how ridiculous this whole thing is. Obviously she's self-aware of that as she's writing and she's telling us. However, the body is still going to be triggered by stress and stress responses. So the fact that she's getting nauseous and almost vomiting, right? And she's talking about that. I'm like, there's the raised cortisol because you're still gonna have those waves of anxiety hit from your body that says, this is not safe, this is not safe. <laughs> so it's just, I'm just saying, you can, it's weird how, how your mind and your body will fight each other sometimes, right? And the whole goal is, the trick is, at least in my life, to try to be as calm as possible in all areas. Says this hyper little chihuahua that comes on and jerks at you every day. As for the claims, when I reviewed the post yesterday, after sifting through emails, texts, and DMs collected from the sources I included, it gave me a revived sense of confidence that I could testify with a clear conscience to all of it under oath. The only correction I'd like to add at this point, there were eight embryos, not six. Yeah, because that's going to be the sticking point. I say that with love to her. It's just funny. What I presented was a watered down version of what I could have shared. Ooh, you know what this means, guys? When you rile somebody up like this, this is how I am. When you rile somebody up with enough courage and a mouth, watch out. Watch out. I'll tell you right now, to anybody who's followed my story, I don't like to bring them up too much, but this is why Cat Queen was terrified of me. They could feel that. What they didn't think of and discounted was that unlike a lot of the people on that team, I am a good hearted person or at least I try to be, and I don't really want destruction for me or them or anyone. And on top of that, karma's coming after them themselves. They're doing a great job of destroying that situation. I don't have to do anything. That's always the best part too, when you learn to get out of that energy of revenge, right? And you just allow things to play out, typically, whatever you wanna call the universe, God, source, whatever that is that, that is, is positively empowering in a good way for you and those around you and your best and highest good, typically it will do way more damage than you ever could have. So why would I or anybody else block their blessings with revenge? Just little things to throw out there. So it says, what I presented was a watered down version and I'm not done yet. That means more is coming out, guys. And I don't think anybody's surprised. A legal dive dissecting the topics inside the piece would be an opening of Pandora's box. And they know it. This is why my Instagram is riddled again with suspicious activity. Attempted hackings, nonstop flaggings, and new warnings every time I log in or attempt to access my inbox. For now, I am locked behind the protective shield in my private account that puts everything on hold. But for the other end of the block, the numbers that will push me well past the 1 million mark have piled up. An online army to front a media war waged with virtual swords, where silence and censorship are their chosen weapon. But truth still sharper. It says, back here at the end of this week with part four. And I love this because this is another thing I want to point out. So I've been in this position as, you know, like a YouTube journalist or whatever you do or don't want to call me, right? I've been in the similar positions where she's been. And I will tell you right now, all these YouTubers you watch, especially the ones who have a following, the bigger ones, and I've been one of the bigger ones in the past, not right now. We're building, we're getting there, right? You always are sitting on way more information than you're speaking. In fact, typically people see 10 to 20% of the story. Some of it is you're trying to protect the people involved. Some of it is that it's just too much for the information to come out. There is always a ton of information about this stuff, guys. And it's, there's always so much of it held back for so many different reasons. There were so many stories I didn't put up. There were so many, to this day, things people told me I will take to my grave. And this is how, and I think in general though, when you're a journalist and you're diving into stuff, this is part of what happens. The thing is, if you take the wrong person, and when I say that, I don't mean she's wrong, but you know, I mean, when you take a certain specific person, like this woman who's fearless with a mouth, you rattle them enough, then they will start unleashing more and more. So that's the thing. Sometimes when you come at somebody with all that big energy, like it seems like Elon and trying to do, where they're trying to scare her and shut her up, it will either shut the person down, but to the wrong person, the motivated person, the person who stands in truth and isn't scared, it's gonna make things 10 times worse for you. And it's gonna, and now, now this has, like now the mainstream media is slowly picking it up. Let's see how far it goes, but I think this is gonna get more and more interesting. 
I think 2022 is the year of Amber Heard. And I am curious and I am intrigued to see where this goes. Guys, if you like this video and you want to watch more videos like this, I'm going to keep up to date. Make sure and subscribe, hit the notification bell because your girl's going to be around pointing out all of this. And as well, leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Sound off. This is going to get crazier than what we think. And leave me a like, share this to getting somebody would find this entertaining. Everything greatly helps. All right, guys, with that being said, I'm going to end it for here, for here, for now, for here, for now, because that makes all the sense. Okay, guys, take care, lots of love, lots of blessings. Till the next video, as always, I'm giving everybody hugs, kisses, stay safe, and as always, your girl, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.